Are you looking to ride more, save more, and enjoy more when you visit the wonderful Knott's Berry Farm? If so, all of these recommendations are here to help you do just that. And of course, give you the best day when you hear about my secret plan of attack on how you can get ahead of the crowds and maximize your wait times for the must-see attractions. How much does it cost to visit Knott's Berry Farm? Now here's a look at the current pricing to visit the park. Something to note that the prices for the one day tickets to Knott's do increase depending on your day of visit. Something to at least consider when planning your trip to the park. Also take a look at the Knott's Berry Farm bundle. This ticket option is a steal of a deal since you will spend more than $15 on a meal at the park. This bundle will allow you to eat multiple times throughout the day. It's pretty obvious this ticket bundle is totally worth the savings. Where to park? Knott's Berry Farm has a very interesting parking lot configuration. Since the park offers multiple parking lots, it's important for you to know the best ones. The main parking lot is great because you get to experience walking up to the park and through the tunnel. But here's a secret. If you choose to eat at the famous Miss Knott's Chicken Dinner restaurant, then you can park at the parking lot for the restaurant and get your parking validated. Then, after you eat, you can head into the park and enjoy your day at Knott's Berry Farm. Trust me, that food is absolutely amazing. Now, this next recommendation is for those of you who are wondering where is the best place to stay while visiting Knott's Berry Farm. And I recommend staying at the Knott's Hotel since it's located right on property, which means you can park at the hotel and just walk to and from the park whenever you want. Trust me, this is the easiest and most enjoyable way to experience Knott's Berry Farm. Now I know you're probably thinking that you might not be able to afford this hotel since every theme park on-site hotel is always overpriced, but think again. I pulled the dates for five separate searches and you can find rooms for under $200 during some of the busiest times of the season. Not to mention, but the Knott's Hotel offers a very large pool, a great splash pad, sports courts, and much more. Is the fast lane skip the line pass worth the extra money? This is a very important question because Knott's Berry Farm is usually always busy. So if you are wanting to re-ride your favorite attractions or you don't really like waiting in long lines, then yes, I would at least check out the pricing for fast lane during your visit. But what is odd about Knott's is that it's almost hard to find where to purchase and get the fast lane. So in my opinion, the best place to buy it is at the general store, which is located in the ghost town section of the park. What are the height requirements for the attractions? Knott's Berry Farm offers a very nice array of attractions for any kid's height. And for your convenience, I will leave the link to the ride requirements in the description of this video. Knott's Berry Farm Annual Pass Benefits If you are planning on visiting more than one day, then you might want to consider an annual pass. The benefits of this is you'll be able to visit Knott's Berry Farm as much as you would like. Plus, on top of that, you get 10% off food and merchandise at the park and discounts on Bring a Friend tickets. But note, the Season and Goal Pass do not include free general parking. However, the Goal Pass does offer unlimited access to Knott Soak City Water Park, which is located right next to Knott's. How many days does it take to experience Knott's Berry Farm? This park really is wonderful and honestly, it's one of my favorite parks I've ever been to. And the main reason why is because it's so hard to do everything when it's busy. This park is not just about rides and roller coasters. There are so many other things to see and do. So I recommend allowing yourself two days to take everything in and just enjoy it. Trust me, you will thank me later because not, again, is one of the best theme parks in the entire world. Now, if you want to throw in a visit to Soak City, the water park, then definitely two days is a must. Which leads me into, is not Soak City worth the add-on? Yes, 100%. If you enjoy water parks and the weather will be warm enough, then you're going to love Soak City. You will find some great slides and attractions, plus a great wave pool, and again, it's located right next to Knott's. When should you arrive at the park? This is a Theme Park 101 answer. Always before opening. I recommend getting to the parking lot at least 30 minutes before the park even opens. By doing this, you will allow yourself time to park and get everything organized before you walk to the front gate. And make sure that you buy your tickets in advance on Knott's Berry Farm's website or their app. This is going to save you so much time. 
And speaking of the app, I highly recommend downloading it so you have a park map on your phone. Trust me, you are going to use this map pretty frequently. And don't forget, near the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my Knott's Berry Farm plan of attack. Now that you're sold on visiting Knott's Berry Farm, you need to know, when is the best time to visit? Well, of course, weekdays. Weekends at theme parks are always going to be busier. And if you're left with no other option but to visit on a weekend, then I highly recommend splurging on a fast lane. As for the best months to visit, it's hard to pass up visiting in early December, mid to late January, and early May. Be sure to check out these other insider guides for some of the most popular parks in the country. You can find the links for these in the description of this video. Now it's time to learn about the recommendations for while you're at Knott's Berry Farm. Since not everyone enjoys thrills of a roller coaster, here are the top 5 best non-coaster rides. Calico Railroad. Just take my word for this, this train ride is one of the best ones at any theme park and is a must ride. Calico Rapids. If you enjoy getting wet, then this Rapids ride needs to be high on your list of priorities. Thunder Mountain Log Ride. Hands down, is one of the best log flumes you'll ever ride. Yes, even better than Disney's Splash Mountain. Calico Mine. If you love dark rides, then you cannot miss out on riding this train ride. This attraction is yet another not staple, and you can't visit Knott's Berry Farm and not ride it. Butterfield Stagecoach. This is a very unique attraction that is almost impossible to find at a theme park. So I recommend if you are wanting to ride the horse-drawn carriages, do it early on when the line isn't insanely long. And for a bonus attraction, and since Knott's offers so many great non-coaster rides, you have to ride Knott's Berry Tales, Return to the Fair. This 4D interactive dark ride is a great way to cool off from that beautiful California sun, and again, is a must ride. While Knott's Berry Farm offers some of the best attractions and coasters on the West Coast, I think it's important for you to know ahead of time what the slowest moving lines are. And those would be Accelerator, Ghost Rider, Pony Express, Knott's Berry Tales, and the Butterfield Stagecoach. All of these rides offer slower moving lines due to their capacity, but are so worth the longer lines. Something to note, Ghost Rider only runs two trains, Accelerator when open usually runs one train as of late. So that's a big reason why those lines are generally pretty slow moving. So what are the fastest moving lines at Knott's Berry Farm? And that has to be Silver Bullet. Hands down, the park's inverted coaster is a people eater and the line moves fast what it's like at nighttime at Knott's Berry Farm. If you're able to visit the park at night, then please take advantage and just do it. That's because this park is stunning at night and night rides on Ghost Rider, Accelerator, and Hang Time are simply amazing, especially Hang Time with all the track lighting up. Roller Coaster Recommendations You're going to find 10 different coasters at Knott's Berry Farm, and all of them are fun and enjoyable rides. So I recommend riding the major coasters in the front and the very back row. That's because you're going to have a much more fun and enjoyable experience by doing this. Jaguar is a great coaster for the beginner thrill seekers and is a coaster that offers a layout that never seems like it wants to end, and I love it. When Montezuma's Revenge reopens, you need to ride this classic shuttle coaster. Seriously, it's a ton of fun. And whatever you do, do not sleep on Sierra Sidewinder. This family spinning coaster may be located in Camp Snoopy, but the ride itself is an out of control thrill ride that is just amazing. After you ride all these attractions, you're going to be very hungry. So here are the top three places to eat at Knott's Berry Farm. And of course, Miss Knott's Kitchen Dinner. Seriously, this restaurant is really that good. And while it's not on the dining plan, it should not be passed up because it's worth it. Fireman's Barbecue is another great option that is on the dining plan. My lunch here was absolutely delicious, as you can tell. And lastly, the Grizzly Creek Lodge. This restaurant offers a great offering of different foods, plus it's home to the best AC in the park. Now, when is the best time for you to eat? Well, typically theme park restaurants are busiest from 12 to 1.30. So either before then or after. Also, dinner time will be busier, but there really isn't a big rush at a specific time. What should you wear while visiting Knott's Berry Farm? And always be sure to wear comfortable shoes since you'll be doing a lot of walking at the park. 
In case you want to know what I wear when I visit a theme park, be sure to check out my online merch store for all of my coaster gear that I designed myself. And you can find a link to it in this video's description. What are the best ways to cool off at Knott's Berry Farm? It gets hot in California, and since it hardly ever rains, here are the best ways to keep cool while visiting Knott's Berry Farm. The park is home to two amazing water rides, Calico Rapids and Thunder Mountain Log Ride. I also recommend riding one of the park's two dark rides, Calico Mine and Knott's Berry Tales Return of the Fair. Knott's Berry Farm with Kids Camp Snoopy offers a ton of rides geared towards kids of all ages, and even offers two roller coasters. Outside of Camp Snoopy, you'll find there are so many other rides and attractions for kids to do that'll keep them happy for hours. Attractions like gem mining, the train ride, and exploring ghost town. Knott's Berry Farm Special Events Throughout the year, Knott's offers so many great events that are worth checking out. But if you like haunted houses, then you need to visit Knott's Scary Farm. This Halloween event is one of the best and I totally recommend checking it out. While at Knott's Berry Farm, you should also know about the best restrooms, just in case you're looking for the cleanest ones. And I recommend the restrooms that are located near the Grizzly Creek Lodge. They're usually always clean, great for AC, and a great location. Now before I share with you my Knott's plan of attack, I really need to hype up the ghost town section of Knott's Berry Farm. That's because this theme area is truly remarkable and I hope that you dedicate a good amount of time exploring it because it is so worth it. Also, if you have any additional recommendations about Knott's Berry Farm, be sure to let us all know in the comments below. And now it's time for my Knott's Berry Farm plan of attack. If you're planning on visiting Knott's without a fast lane, which is the skip the line pass, then get to the front gate before opening. Then head to Ghost Rider first, and I mean walk fast. Once you get off Ghost Rider, walk very fast again to the back of the park, and I will get in line for hang time and then accelerator. Once you have ridden both of these three rides, be sure to head over to Montezuma's Revenge. After this, I recommend getting a ride on Pony Express. Again, walking very fast followed by fairy tales. Once you've done all these attractions, I would then focus on the water rides and the calico mine. Then, later in the day, you can grab a ride on Coast Rider, Silver Bullet, and Sierra Sidewinder. But if you have a fast lane, you get to enjoy Knott's Berry Farm at your own pace, so I highly recommend it if you can justify spending the extra money for it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.